What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful day here in South Florida. It is hot and today's the day we go 50 miles on the golf cart. You ready? I'm ready, let's do it. Here we go. I'm Mike. I'm Joe. And this is Cart Life TV. What's up guys? We're here at the gas station right around the corner from our house. We're getting ready to hit the road on our first long distance journey. Here we are. We're at the corner of Spanish River Boulevard and Federal Highway in East Boca. Right behind me is the intersection and right down the street from there is the ocean. Just about maybe a quarter of a mile over the bridge. We're gonna take A1A all the way up to Palm Beach Island. It's about 25 miles north and then another 25 miles south. We're gonna stop along the way, let you guys know how we're doing. Never done this before, so we're just gonna do it. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's go grab some ice, let's grab some drinks, and we're gonna hit the road. I'd honestly like to get in there right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're iced up, we're fueled up, we're ready to go. We're gonna hit it now, 25 miles north, Palm Beach Island, next stop. Let's do it. Go. Ready. All right, guys, we made it to Delray Beach. We're here at the uh, corner of Atlantic Avenue and A1A. Yeah. Uh, we've probably gone, what, about five miles so five far? Miles, yeah. No problems with the cart. And remember, it's fully loaded right now. We got it at running, at running weight, which is uh, gas fully loaded, ice fully loaded, and all of our equipment. The only thing we're missing is our personal stuff like clothing, but we're really not factoring that in today. I think we're doing good. Yeah, for sure. So Delray Beach is awesome. I don't know if any of you guys are uh, familiar with it, but uh, let's check it out real quick for a second. So this is it. This is the famous Delray Beach. This is one of the hottest tourist spots if you want a nice quiet beach to relax in South Florida. Delray is awesome. It has an awesome downtown area, lots of stores and restaurants. It's a great place to visit. We're done here though. We took our quick break. We're gonna hit the road. Alright guys, we're going through, I think we're in like Boynton Beach area now on A1A. We've got some awesome homes, the golf course is on the left and the right. I just want to point out that if the weather is getting cooler, we can just hit 28 miles an hour fully loaded on the golf cart. We're doing awesome, we're making great time. The next stop is going to be Bridey Breezes. It's like a little beach community, it's really cool. Home of one of the oldest surf shops in all of Florida. 
there soon. This is Ryan. He's the owner of Nomad Surf Shop. This place has been here since when? Uh, 68. 68. So pretty old. Yeah, yeah. 55 years this year. So it's been the same family. My dad started it um, next to his granddad. Our, our granddad had a TV repair store and gave him a little spot. And then and now we're about 7,000 square foot. It's awesome. Yeah. So It's an awesome shop. It's definitely a landmark here. What city is this actually? This is Briny Breezes I know right here. Uh, yeah, it's so Briny Breezes, Boynton, Gulfstream. We're like on the border. We're in our own little zone here. It's okay. kind of because it borders everything, but you could say it's more Boynton, but you know, Boynton's right over the bridge. Cool, cool. Yeah. Well, this is definitely a cool place to stop. If you are in this area, make sure you check out the surf shop because it is really impressive. They got a ton of boards here and all kinds of surf gear, clothing, all the good stuff, right? Yeah. What's sure. the craziest thing you've seen here over the years? What's like, if you had to say one thing that defines Nomad Surf Shop, what would it be? I mean, we see a lot of crazy things. I think the Bermuda <laughs> Triangle stops right in the corner at Nomad. You never yeah. know. <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. you taking some time. awesome sticker too. <laughs> yeah. I've been coming here since I was probably 10 years old. So it was a treat then because from Boca to here it seemed like so far away when you're a little kid. Yeah. Here we are. Ready to hit it? Let's go. Let's go. Wolverine Road and A1A, heading towards Lake Worth. We're still cruising, we just left Briny Breezes. Our next stop is gonna be probably the Lake Worth here. We'll see if we pass anything interesting on the way, but we're still running good, what do you think? Running awesome, running awesome. We actually topped off that I think we hit 29 miles per hour when we went back there. We were cruising along, birds running really nice. Nomad Surf Shop was awesome, Ryan was really cool, he hooked us up with some stickers. We're gonna keep going, let's do it. All right, guys, we're at our next stop. We're here in Lake Worth at the Lake Worth Pier. The Lake Worth Casino is right behind me over here. There's a bunch of uh, little stores and some restaurants over there. Pretty popular place. Downtown Lake Worth's really cool. The pier is awesome. Great place to go fishing. Benny's on the Beach is like one of those classic South Florida world famous places. Smoked fish dip, plenty of seafood, burgers, stuff like that. And it's an awesome place to eat. Overlooking the ocean, it's, it's real cool. Let's check it out real quick.
We're getting really close to Palm Beach Island. We just passed Mar-a-Lago, where President Trump lives. We've gone uh, 22 miles so far, probably about three miles to go. We should be getting there pretty soon. The park's still running great, we're doing 28 miles per hour. Very little gas, so super happy. Let's keep pushing. All right, guys, we made it. We're here at uh, Palm Beach Island, Worth Avenue. The famous beachside clock tower is right here. And right behind us over here is the entrance to Worth Avenue. We made it 25 miles on the golf cart. And it wasn't yeah, bad. Did. Not at all, actually. I mean, some highlights are that we didn't use a lot of gas. Um, None. Like, barely any. We hit 29 miles per hour at one point almost 30 actually we 30, hit 30 we, we hit, hit 30, 30 miles per hour at one point um we do have to work on the braking the the brakes did not like um stopping from that speed that is for sure it took way longer than uh we would like so we're gonna have to work on that yeah that was a little sketchy just some notes but uh we made it and i guess we're gonna just cruise worth avenue real quick check out the sights and the sounds worth avenue is one of the most affluent places to shop the only other in the place world is El Ro uh, Rodeo Drive, Beverly Hills. Yep, it's the only other one like it. And that's it. Let's check it out. Rides here. We're gonna cruise down Worth Avenue. Let's go. Do some shopping. <laughs> shopping. We're here on Worth Avenue uh, in uh, Palm Beach Island. This place is sick. This is some of the. Uh, most exclusive stores and shops and art galleries in all the world. Yeah, it's really it impressive. If uh, you want a cool place to visit, even if you can't afford to buy anything here, it's, it's worth just checking it out. A lot of tourists here come just to just to look and sightsee and window shop. It is really, it is a really beautiful place. I can't believe we made it here. It's pretty awesome, man. This is it. Yeah, halfway, uh, halfway done with our 50 mile uh, test run. What do you so, think, Joe? So far, so good. Yeah, it's, uh, it's cool. pretty non-eventful, which is always good. So, just checking out these shops. I wish I can afford to shop at some yeah. Someday. Someday. All right, guys, that's it. That's our tour of uh, Palm Beach Island. That was awesome, man. That was a, that was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. And uh, super cool seeing it from a golf cart for uh, for a change instead of like a car. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, the houses you see when you're just driving in a golf cart and all the landscape is just, just amazing. What a different the, perspective. The landscaping is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. But we're here. We're at the uh, kind of like right around the corner from the entrance of Worth Avenue. Atlantic Ocean right there behind us. About 25. Oh, hello. <laughs> we're about <laughs> we're about 25 miles uh, north of uh, our home in Boca Raton, and uh, it's time to turn it around. Joe's gonna take the wheel. I'll narrate and uh, video. Let's hit the road. All right, guys. So we're headed back south now after our run to Palm Beach Island. Golf cart ran great. Super happy. I got to drive north. Joe's driving south. What do you think? I think it was a perfect drive. I think it was a perfect drive too, man. It's beautiful weather now. Yeah, it is. It's really cooling off. We got a nice breeze on the golf cart. The air is blowing in the wind. We're just we're just chilling. We're living large right now. So far, so good. We'll catch up to you in a little while.
Beach Par 3 Golf Course. One of the coolest places in Lake Worth to play golf. 18 awesome par 3 holes, extremely challenging, and it's on both sides of A1A. So you play on the intercoastal, and then you also play on the ocean. If you're in Lake Worth and you play golf, you gotta check it out. All right, guys, we've gone about 40 miles, and uh, we're here at the uh, Boynton Beach Inlet. And this place is really cool. I passed it 100 times on uh, in a car. It's good fishing off the pier. I'm sure it is. It looks awesome. I've never actually stopped here. We're going to check this place out real quick because it looks really nice. There we go. This place is pretty cool. Um, looks like there's a beach area. There's plenty of parking. The current is honking right now, so I'm sure the fishing's really good. Water's coming in. Sun's going down, the weather's getting nice, and we got about, what, 10 more miles to go? Yeah, 10, 15. 10, 15 more miles to go. All right. No problem. No problem. Let's get back to Boca. See you guys. All right, we're back at Woolbright Road, getting close to Delray Beach. Golf cart's still running real good. Doing great on gas. Doesn't seem like it's getting too hot. It sounds really good. Yeah, it sounds great. And yep. It actually sounds better now than we left. It really does. Golf cart's running great. Super, super happy with it. I'm actually amazed. So we're gonna keep chugging along here. We'll probably stop again in Delray just to give it a little second, stretch the legs. Yeah, go with that one up there. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, this is where Nomad is. We passed by here going north. We're coming south again. This is a little beach town called Briny Breezes. It's really cool. It's like a retirement community. They offer these people millions and millions of dollars each, each to sell their mobile homes and move out so developers could develop this into mega mansions. The town people got together and said, no way. They love living here right by the beach. There's tons of golf carts in this community. Look at them all behind me. This is really cool. We're just gonna cruise through real quick and check it out. We've never actually been down here before, but we heard a lot about it. Um, so let's check out Briny Breezes real quick. Wow. 
All right, so we are at the Briny Breezes private beach here, and I, you're right, Joe. I know why they don't want to sell this place now. Yeah. Look over here behind me, over my over my shoulder. You can see these mega mansions that these developers came in and built. Those look like may, might be some condos and some private homes down there. But the people of Briny Breezes really have like a hidden treasure here. They have these these mobile homes. It's a whole community of them, and uh, it's like a golf cart community. It's a retirement community and they have this beautiful beautiful private beach um, if you look around on this beach you'll see all these orange stakes coming out of the ground those are actually sea turtle nests it's illegal to uh, disturb them this is where the sea turtles come up at nighttime lay the eggs and then go back into the sea and uh, if you live down here in Florida you know that you know it's pretty normal um, the the turtles hatch little baby turtles hatch and they make their way to the ocean in the middle of the night and you could actually come out on the right nights with when the moon is shining and uh and watch that happen it's really it's really something amazing yeah they shut all the street lights and everything down so they don't get confused so they make sure they go towards the beach not away from them or towards the ocean not, not away from the ocean right wow look at the difference here briny breezes <laughs> mcmansion holy moly A really cool mix of beach houses and smaller houses, condos, and everything else. And it's literally just steps away, oh. literally just steps away from the ocean. It's, it's an amazing neighborhood here. Really, really cool. The Atlantic. All right, guys, we're here at uh, back at Delray Beach at the Sailing Club. We found a way where we could actually bring our golf cart on the beach, and it is just awesome here. Uh, definitely a cool place to check out. We're about a mile south, not even a mile, maybe half a mile south of Atlantic Avenue, where the downtown area of Delray is. And it's really cool here. There's other people on the beach with golf carts. Joe's over there giving them some stickers, but definitely a place you want to check out. Uh, we're getting really close to the home stretch. We're probably about five miles away from the house in Boca. Uh, about to hit the road and uh, get back home. I think uh, I think we're doing good. Dude, that was awesome. We just met this guy. He uh, saw our sticker on the golf cart and subscribed right here on the beach. That was that was yeah, awesome. That was super cool. And he's like, "You're Mike, right?" <laughs> So that's, We're that's, su already. that's super cool. <laughs> that's super cool. So congratulations to him. He just got married. He's probably going to watch this video. So congrats to you, brother. Congrats, man. Welcome to the U.S. All right, let's loop around. Let's head back.
All right, we just crossed Linton Boulevard. I think that's the last traffic light before we get to Spanish River, where we're going to cross back over to the uh, mainland, uh, Boca Raton, where we live. This is the home stretch. Good job driving, Joe. You did an awesome job taking the south. The golf cart's still humming along, and uh, we're looking good. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. We got no brakes at these speeds. <laughs> the brakes got way too hot. We, we have like Fred Flintstone uh, feet going on right now to stop this thing. Oh, we, lost, we completely lost braking. So, we got a turn signal on too. But we made it back to Boca. We just made it right on Spanish River. We're about to hit the bridge to go over the intercoastal and we're on the home stretch home. We do have to figure some things out as quick chili brakes. Unbelievable, man. I can't believe we made it. We, 50 miles, dude. 50 miles, here we are, intercoastal. You guys gotta see this brake pedal when we get out of the golf cart um, and back to the house. It is like flopping around. This is crazy, but um, we made it back safely. We're um, about to pull into the neighborhood here. Uh, we're at the corner of Federal and Spanish River where we uh, started at the gas station. It's right across the street. We're almost home. We did good, man. Just pulling into the neighborhood now. The sun is still out. We had a nice sunset on the ride home. Beautiful. Golf cart sounding good. Still running great. Still running great, man. Got no brakes. No brakes. No brakes. Fred Flintstone brakes. But that's alright. That's all we lost. That's easy. Easy fix. I think I know exactly what we're gonna do. All right, guys, so we just got back to the driveway and we didn't even realize it, but somewhere around probably where we made the turn at Spanish River, we completely lost our whip and um, I still haven't we figured out what happened. Uh, still haven't figured out what happened yet, but we basically dragged it uh, probably like almost two miles. <laughs> yeah. um, we're lucky we didn't destroy the power cord, but um, we should be able to figure this thing out Get and fix thing. it. Oh my gosh, no brakes. <laughs> made it a little exciting towards the end. No brakes, broken whip, but um, everything else seems to be in order. We barely used any gas. All the lights are still working. Cooler's still there. We have, uh, we have a, we have a half a tank. Half a tank of gas right there. And the odometer says 61. So we went, uh, and there was about 10 on there when we started. So we went about 51 miles. Awesome. Let's not burn the GoPro. Everything seems to be in order down here. About a half a tank in the uh, in the fuel cell there, so yeah. I think we did pretty good. Yeah, for sure. That was awesome. All right, man, that was a heck of a day. 50 miles on the golf cart, broken whip, broken brakes, but we made it home safely. Hole in the flag. Hole in the flag. Wow. All carnage, and it all happened in the last couple miles. Yeah, right. Which like is probably the last five miles of that. Last five miles, it started to hit the fan, but we made it home safe. 50 miles, we could put that notch in the belt. We do have some things we have to fix. We got to fix the brakes. We got to fix the whip. We got to get a new flag. <laughs> and I don't know, we got to fix a couple other little things that uh, we think can make the trips 
a little bit easier and more comfortable. But other than that, I think it was great. Success. Wanna, a definite, definite success. And I want to thank you guys for following us and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to support the channel, visit lowspeedliving.com. We got some great shirts. We got some cool merch there. It all goes to support the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. We'll catch you next time. Have a good one. Peace.